lot of Asian food can actually be prepared on the grill. And one of those things that people don't usually do is actually cook salad. You can cook leafy greens. And that's something I'm going to show you right now that's really simple and extremely healthy because it's just uh, a nice mix of protein and just vegetables. Uh, so we're going to start really simply enough just with some, um, some chicken breast here. The thing about chicken breast is people don't really know how to cook it on a grill. It usually dries out pretty easily. So what you want to do is just pound it a little so it becomes nice and soft. So you'll see it gets flattened and a bit bigger. Now to this, we're just going to add a little bit of garlic. Just going to chop it up and smear it all over the chicken here. And then of course, we're just gonna season it, but this time instead of seasoning it with salt or anything, I'm just gonna put a little bit of soy sauce, that's correct. So a bit of soy sauce both sides, like that. And we're just gonna plop it right onto the grill. Now to our chicken here, we're just gonna add something a little sweet and a little different. I'm just gonna get a nice mango. I'm just gonna cut it around the pit, two slices like that, okay, keep it open, put a little bit of salt on top of it, and I'm going to put it face down on the grill as well, all right, and then the last uh, and final component of this dish is just getting some nice baby pet chai here, or bok choy if you want to call them, and then we're just going to get let them get nice and charred on top of the grill as well, so you don't really need to do anything to it, just add a little bit of oil to get it going smeared and then we'll add that to our grill as well all right now while that's cooking we're just gonna make a really quick dressing very very simple dressing get some nice spring onions Now we're just going to add that to a bowl, all of it, it's a nice little dressing, make sure to keep an eye on um, what's going on on the grill. Now we're going to add a little bit of honey to the whole thing, so maybe one tablespoon. To that, just to counterbalance it, some soy sauce, about two tablespoons. And then we're going to add a teaspoon of fish sauce and a couple of drops of sesame oil. Sesame oil is not really an oil you cook with, it's really just something for flavor. So I'm gonna about put just two, three drops, and it's more than enough just to give it that taste we're looking for. It's gonna make a good mix, and then a taste. And that's perfect. So we keep that aside until the rest is cooking. So I think we're about ready to switch it over. You see that chicken has a nice smoke taste because we're cooking it really nice and slow. And your mangoes are almost done and the greens are just getting nice and wilted, which is exactly what we want. We just don't want to overcook it, we just want to get it nice and warm. So once everything's done, just get a nice plate like this. Just set this out first here. And then you'll see, we'll take them off one by one. You'll see exactly the texture it's supposed to have. See, it's nice and wilted. Put that right onto there. Same thing for this one, it has a little bit of charredness, a little blackness, but it's still perfectly nice and clean, that's what I like about it. Then you get your nice mango, beautiful caramelized char that you see there. For the other one as well, it's really the sugars that come out and just make that beautiful caramelized crust that has that nice smokiness. And of course our chicken over here. It's nice and smoked, you see it's still nice and tender. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna chop that up really simply. Then we're just going to scoop up the mangoes, remove it from the skin, just as so. Again, you know, this is not supposed to be pretty, this is cooked in the barbecue, so you want that nice burnt look, that nice rustic look to it. That's just beautiful. There you go. Now we're just going to put that mango right next to our bok choy here. Like that. And then we're just going to put our chicken on top. Just as 
so it's nice and tender. The flavor's there. Next, we're gonna finish off with just some black pepper. And we're gonna take our sauce. Put our sauce right on top. It's a really simple dish. Typically Asian, yet with some surprises that not a lot of people would expect. And that's what I like about it. Thank you.